This is ABC Action News. Dangerously hot temperatures and hazardous conditions all new at six. A former Tico worker's perspective on yesterday's power plant accident. The way he thinks an already dangerous job turned deadly for two men. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Wendy Ryan and I'm Ashley Glass. Jameson is off tonight and as we come on the air, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration's going through Tico's Big Bend power plant trying to figure out what led up to an accident that killed two men yesterday. Yeah, four others were injured in that accident. The victims ranging in age from 21 to 60 years old. One of the men killed worked at Tico. The others were contractors. Tico is not named an exact cause for the accident and says it could take months to figure out what killed those people doing routine maintenance on a slag tank. So what makes working at Tico power plant so dangerous tonight? A former employee of the Big Bend power plants describing what he says are life threatening conditions there. Yeah, and all new at six. He tells ABC Action News reporter Adam Weiner why he feels lucky to be alive today. When I was working there, we had the dangerous job of just going to work. If Anthony Knight could still work, he'd have been at the Big Bend power plant Thursday afternoon. That was his shift. Man, you walk on the slag tanks, literally, your feet start melting. It's that hot. After getting hurt on the job in 2013. This your, this your job. This what you do. Knight was forced to retire early. This is this your work right here. His role was to make sure what's called melted coal slag flowed properly through large containers. I would have to hold it up in the air and break loose that slag. And if things got too clogged, they'd call in a water blasting crew. In this case, Gaffin Industrial Services. So they stick the pipes in yeah. and they shoot that water. They got, a, they got a high pressure yeah. truck down at the bottom and the hoses is coming up top and, whew, and it would burst. The water is like dynamite. Tico CEO says that's what a crew was doing Thursday when that molten slag suddenly released onto the crew. Knight says he spent nine years fearing something like this would happen to him. It's hot, but the money is good. So you're risking your life for the money to take care of your family. Today, Knight has only good things to say about Tico. Because Tico stresses safety. Which he said had daily safety meetings and took a lot of precautions. But the nature of the job, he says, made it inherently dangerous. It's, it's a very dangerous, safe place. In Tampa, Adam Weiner, ABC Action News. And we're going to keep tabs on OSHA's investigation and work to learn more about the victim's conditions. At last check, everyone who survived is still in the hospital. But once we get new information, you can count on us to post it on our website and on our free mobile app.